Hello everyone, welcome back to the Beauty of Grace. My name is Lynette and I'm so glad that you come back to hear the good news of Jesus Christ. I hope all is well with you and your family. Um, I hope you've taken some time for a little vacation time before the fall gets here. We just came back from a family reunion in Raleigh, North Carolina, which was really, really nice. It was good to just get away for the weekend and, and see my family and, um, and have some relaxation time as well. Amen. So I want to talk to you today about God has forgiven you. Now forgive yourself and live. God has forgiven you. Now forgive yourself and live. And I want to talk to you about that because a lot of times as Christians, sometimes we get stuck. We get stuck in the past. We get stuck on mistakes that we made last week, last year, years ago. And we're so full of guilt and condemnation that we can't go forward in what God has for you. God has put dreams on the inside of you giving you visions, right? Giving you ideas and you can't move forward because you have not forgiven yourself, okay? And what we have to remember is that when God has forgiven you, then you don't have to worry about people. You don't have to worry about what people say or what they don't say, okay? Because Ephesians 1 and 7 tells us that we have the forgiveness of sins. We have it. Okay, that's part of our salvation package. All Christians have the forgiveness of sins. We don't have to ask God for forgiveness. We just thank God that we're forgiven. It's a lifetime of forgiveness that he has given us because we have accepted his son, Jesus Christ. It's part of the salvation package, or I like to say the benefits part of our benefits package of salvation, right? Isn't that good? So when the, the God of the universe, the one who created the heavens, the earth, has forgiven you, why can't you forgive yourself? You need to forgive yourself so that you can move on, so that you can live, so that you can do the purpose that God has for you, okay? So... I want to talk about, you know, Paul talks about this uh, in Philippians, the third chapter. And he talks about in verse uh, 13, he said, No, dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it, but I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. Are you looking forward to what lies ahead? Because when you get caught up in guilt and condemnation for the things you've done in the past, you what, what you're literally doing is beating yourselves up, okay? You're condemning yourself. And when you condemn yourself, your body responds to that. Your cells in your body actually start responding to that. So your body will start fighting itself. And diseases can occur when you condemn yourself. Stop beating yourself up. Jesus was beat for you. Jesus was tortured for you. You know, some people condemn themselves uh, by cutting themselves. They'll cut themselves. They're beating themselves up. And it's because of something that they may have done in the past that they have not forgiven themselves. All right. So that's not healthy. It's not good for your health. You've got to let it go. You've got to forgive yourself. Sometimes we do crazy stuff, right, in the past. And, but we have to move on from that. That was the past. It's nothing we can do in the past. You can't go back in the past and correct stuff, right? There's nothing that you can do. You know, when Jesus was on the cross, he was in the middle of two he was in the middle, and on the outside was two thieves, right? And they were actually thieves. 
They stole from somebody. But one of them said, Lord, remember me in paradise. Right? And even though, so God forgave him. Jesus forgave him right there while he was on that cross, right? But that man couldn't go back and give back the stuff that he had actually stolen. He couldn't go back and tell a lot of people that he was sorry. Now, if we can do that, we do that. But at that, in the position that he was in, he couldn't do that. But God had forgiven him. And he has forgiven you. All Christians have the forgiveness of sins. You know. And when you know that you are forgiven by God, it takes a weight off you. It, it'll take the guilt off you. It'll take the condemnation off you. Your body will be at peace. Your mind, it will be at peace. And when your mind is at peace, your body will be at peace. Okay? And health can flow because you got rid of the guilt and condemnation. So you need to forgive yourself. You know, I remember a number of years ago, uh, before I really knew about grace um, and, and the forgiveness of sins and all of that, um, I used to write letters. I used to be very critical. There was this pastor who I used to write letters to and criticize him about the ministry and what he was doing and what he was, what he was not doing. Now, this was not of God. This was just stuff that I would do. This was flesh stuff, right? Because my, my mind was in a law mentality. I had a law, law, a law mindset, okay? You know, and a lot of times when you have a law mindset, we point at uh, others and their faults. We look at others when they, uh, we judge others when they fail, when other Christians fall, we judge and we talk about them and we gossip about them instead of praying for them. That's a, a law mentality because all of us are going to fail. There are times all of us are going to make mistakes. We're not God. Okay. We're not Jesus. We're not going to live a perfect life on this earth, even though we've been saved forever, right? By Jesus Christ. You're still going to make mistakes. So we need to have compassion on those that fall. And so I wrote, write letters to this pastor. I did it for a long time, I guess maybe a year or so. And then eventually I stopped. Thank God I stopped because that was something just stupid. That was stupid, right? Criticizing others and so forth. And, um, but, you know, I had to forgive myself for that because I, I, once I learned about God's grace, once I learned about the forgiveness of sins, and once I learned and actually accepted the love of Christ and knowing that God loves me more than anybody, then I reflected on what I had done. But then I said I had to forgive myself, right? Because I had regrets about doing something like that. I had regrets. And so, but then I had to still go forward. Okay. So that's why it's so important for you to listen to Christ-centered messages. Because it's going to change you from the inside out. A lot of times we just want to work on the outside. We say, I got to do this. I got to do this. But it's the Holy Spirit that he'll change you from the inside out when you when your mind starts changing about things about God, right? My mind had to start changing about how I how I felt that God perceived me. And you know, I always thought God was there looking at every sin that I do, writing down every sin that I've I've done in my life and that when I see him face to face, he's going to throw it in my face, all the sins that I've ever done and all that, which is not true. Because when Jesus said he has taken all your sins away forever, he has done that. Isn't that good news? That is good news, guys. Good news. So I'm encouraging you today. Stop looking back. Cause there's nothing you can do about it right and go forward okay and then paul says up here in verse 14 
I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God through Christ Jesus is calling us. So Paul said, you know, really in this, in what this whole uh, Philippians, the third chapter was talking about, he was talking about letting go of the law and not going by what the law says and being led by the spirit of God. And I love what he talks about here because he talks about the, the, how priceless it is in knowing Christ, in knowing him. There's nothing in the world that's more important than knowing Christ, not knowing about the Ten Commandments, not knowing about the law of, of, of the Old Covenant. He was saying about the, the value of knowing Christ Jesus, just knowing him. No rules, no regulations. And we know that's what religion a lot of time is made up of rules and regulations, do's and don'ts and all of that. But Christianity is not a religion. It's a relationship with Jesus Christ. Okay. So that is what he was talking about there. So let it go, guys. Go forward in Christ. Right? Let the guilt go. Let the condemnation go. You are loved by Jesus Christ. There's nobody in the world that loves you more than God. Let me say that again. There's nobody in the world that loves you more than God. Right? Nobody. I know my husband loves me. I know my parents love me. I know my children love me. But they don't love me like Christ Jesus. They, they just don't. He loves you even when you fail. He loves you even when you do good things. He loves you. He loves you even when you're mad. You might be mad at him. You might be disappointed or, or frustrated about some things that hasn't manifested in your life. And you're like, God, what is going on? What is this? What are you doing when are you going to deliver me? When are you going to help me? He still loves you. Even when we question, when are you going to do this or when are you going to do that? He still loves you. He knows that, yes, we're human, right? He knows all about you. He knows what makes you upset. He knows what is tempting, what tempts you, okay? He knows everything about you. So when someone that knows all of your faults and still loves you, sometimes humans, other humans can't deal with that, right? But know that he loves you unconditionally. The Bible talks about the depth of his love, you know, the deep, how, how deep his love is for us. We can't even understand it. That's what Paul says, right? So... I just wanted to, to encourage you to go forward, stop looking in the past, but go forward toward whatever calling God has for you. If he's told you to start that business, start that business. If he told you to go back to school, go back to school. If he told you to apply for a particular job, apply for it. Go forward, right? Don't let the past free, uh, uh, um, make you where you immobile. Okay. And there was another example of, um, uh, Abraham's had a nephew named Lot and Lot and his family lived in Sodom and Gomorrah, which was a place where there's a lot of sin and stuff going on. So God decided to destroy that city, but God sent angels there to go and deliver Lot and his family because Lot was still a righteous man, even though he was in all that sin and stuff. He loved to be all in it. You know, some Christians, you know, they're Christians, but they love to just be all up in some sinful stuff, right? So when the angel, the angels actually had to take them by the arm to deliver them out the city because they didn't really want to go. <laughs> they really did not want to go. And as they, as they were taking them out the city, the angels had told them, don't look back. 
because there were fire, you know, God was, was destroying that city. There was fire everywhere. And he told them, don't look back. That's what the angels told them. Don't look back. And Lot's wife was looked back. And when she looked back, she became a pillar. The Bible says she became a pillar of salt. It was like she became maybe a statue, frozen statue. I mean, it was just, she really probably just disintegrated. I don't know. But looking back, you can't go, if I'm doing this, it's hard for me to go forward, right? And I'm looking back. I'm looking this way. So some of you are still looking like this. You're doing this. You're doing this. You, you want to go forward, but you, you're looking back. You can't see where you're going in the future if you're looking backward, right? So let it go. Right? Let it go. Let the guilt go. Let the condemnation go. And know that you have the forgiveness of sin. And thank God that he has given us this. Right? It, has, it, it, it makes us where we are free in Christ. And you know what? We love him even the more because he didn't have to do it. But he went through. He did his... Um, uh, he did what he needed to do while he was on this earth. He did a beautiful work, and it's an eternal work that we are saved forever. And that, like I said, that salvation package is a whole lot of benefits to that salvation package, right? So anyway, so glad that you came back. And Tess, send this video to some friends that may be depressed. That's why a lot of people are depressed. They looking backward and they keep thinking about what they did or didn't do, right? They got depressed thoughts and it makes them just think just negativity all the time. So our job is to help pull them up. God wants them, it's time for you to, be, to get up, get out the gutter, get your mind, have a peaceful mind. Put the word of God in your mind. That's going to help lift you up. Knowing that God wants you to go forward. And that he's giving you the forgiveness of sin. So now you can go forward. You're free in Christ. Amen. Don't forget, guys, to subscribe, share, and like this video for me. And also, if you're not saved, just say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I'm a sinner and save me. And if you said that, guys, then you are now, and you meant it from your heart, you are now in the family of Christ. And I would encourage you to continue to listen. I got plenty of videos on this channel, and my videos will point you straight to Christ. And my videos is what's going to help you grow in Christ, right? And you're going to learn more about him, okay? That's what this channel is all about, about his grace and his goodness, okay? So anyway, thank you so much. Glad you came back and um, take care of yourselves and pray for me and I'll continue to pray for you guys. Bye-bye.